thing for now. What's it looking like, Kevin? It's looking like stew tea. <laughs> stew tea and the visibility is about ooh, about ten inches at the moment. Mm. But Dave's line looks all right, doesn't it? Dave's line looks pretty good. It's well relayed at this end and. Uh, you know, I'm just giving it a gentle tug, I'm not pulling on it in case it, it comes through. Because he did say it was, it was on the um, mud and stall on the other end, so don't pull on it. But as you can see, as you just try to get kitted up, do anything, it's just all this goo is going in. So what I was trying to do is think of a way to try and make a kitting up area, but I'm not putting all the, not knocking all this through straight away, so at least when you attempt to die for a couple of minutes or a few seconds, you've got a bit of visibility in front of you before it goes like that, you know. Yeah, it's just that you can feel it going down, just a silk bank. I can see what they're saying. As soon as you stand in it, you're stirring it up completely. And as you stand in it, it's kicking it into where you're going. That's cold. Yeah, it's going to be a narrow, a narrow little slot. Can you feel what it is? I feel, I can feel the roof, and the line is. Let's get my foot on the line. Follow the line. Yeah, there's a little. Feels like an opening, like, like that sort of thing, going down. Yeah, but it's quite wide. Yeah, yeah. over here it's it feels. Ooh, it's cold. That. You know, that's a, a good metre wide. Um, the line... I can't see where the line's going. Now you can definitely feel it opening, but as you stand in it, the silk's going to roll down, you know? Yeah. You, I can just feel it with your feet now, I'm just moving it. So where we need to dig it out to get in. I'm just pulling the silt up the bank now with a solid rock here. It doesn't need a lot, does it? No, it doesn't. If anything, really, it's just. It might make it a bit easier for um, the harness and things. You found some bones earlier, didn't you? 
for a budgie poo, I don't know about more. Oh, I'm sorry it's solid there. Couldn't find anything. Waking up. There's a little haven on the, as you look at the sump pool on the left hand side. As you climb up into that, there's a little bit of a tube going off at the far side of it. But there's no draft that I could see. There was a cobweb in there and it wasn't moving or anything. May just be circulation within the yeah. cabin. I've done this, haven't I? I haven't done this before. A few rocks on the way. <laughs> Strangely fun. <laughs> Feet first. Can you? What can you see? Okay. It's about that big. I dive. Uh, I, can't get, I can't actually get my bottom through. It's, it's, it is a small hole, is it? Yeah. About that wide. It seems to it goes across about that wide. And uh, 
I tried to go head first so I could get through without actually very big head in the silk, which I didn't want to do because I didn't want to get a free flow. So then I went in feet first, I turned around and went feet first, and I've just been feeling me away, and it, it, it just, it's about that big really. Uh, and then it, look, it feels like it might open a bit more, but this, this stuff needs digging out first, I think. Mm -hmm. So Dave must be really, really tiny to get through that. Well, maybe it's sorted up some. Yeah, and I, I'm talking, and, and it's like this on the roof. So your neoprene's catching on it, you know? You're not sliding. So I can feel me backside getting caught like that as I'm trying to go through. Uh, that's disappointing. Yeah. But it is, it is, it just needs digging out. As I went down, I reversed in as much as I can, and then it, it, it kicks under. You've got your, your legs bent back up, and I could feel airspace there. Not airspace, but I could feel a bigger passage, sorry. And then I could feel the line of the silt, the line, go down into the silt. So I dug around following the line, and I went down about eight inches, and the line was still going down, buried in silt. So it seems to have silted up in that first section quite a bit. Uh, but it did feel bigger after, so where my feet were, it felt bigger than where my actual thighs were. It felt like it opened out. And then this whole bank is coming down. So anything that's coming out, any silk is just hitting this and just rolling back on itself, I imagine. So by going through on my back with my feet first, what I could do is I, I, I felt through and I could put my feet up like this. 90 degrees and I could feel around a, a little bit of a, uh, an arch in the roof and I could feel by putting one foot next to each other it was at least a, one boot and a half size wider there, higher there so it's definitely got a, a bit of a tunnel going through so yeah so it's just a small constriction it, it's a body length oh it's body length it's it? a body length yeah and then it, it opens out, but then it's just that loose silk rather than this solid. This is quite compact, this stuff here. Yeah. 